On a standard football pitch, players will bring their A game, bring ball kicks, along for kick goals. One would naturally think it's an international football game, right? By the pitch side, audiences of all age groups were cheering for their favorite teams, while relishing glutinous rice and cornfish, Chinese bayberries, and watermelons. During halftime, performances like the Grand Song of the Dong ethnic group and the Lu Sheng Dance of the Miao ethnic group were on show, and children held a one-way show just on the pitch with their traditional ethnic costume song. Every spectacle spells down to earth. The mixture of professional moves and earthly styles reflected the real identity of the event, a village football super league, the VSL or Sun Chao. Currently, the game is going on in Rongjiang County, Guizhou Province, and is scheduled to last until the end of July. The players come from various ethnic groups such as Miao, Dong, Shui, Han, and Yao, and from all walks of life: vegetable vendors, fish sellers, teachers, entrepreneurs. Despite all that, when they put on their team uniforms and walk onto the field, they strive for their common love, football. Since the first game, people have flocked avidly to the scene. Nearly 50,000 spectators were once attracted to just one game. In the sea of people, some even carry their own ladders to secure a better view. Even Han Taosheng, a famous Chinese sports commentator who came to Rongjiang for the Sun Chao game, had to climb on a higher platform to finish his job. Touched by such a grand scene and passionate vibes, football star Michael Owen shared a video sending his compliments and congratulations on the game. Hello, everybody. It's Michael Owen here. I hope you're all well.、Uh, I just wanted to say congratulations to Kun Chao、uh, for all your success, for getting all the good results in the football, and I wish Kun Chao all the very best for the future. I'm sure you're going to get better and better. Take care, everyone, and all the very best to you. The term Sun Chao has only gone viral this summer, but the development of football in Rongjiang County dates way back to the 1940s. Back then, villagers made appointments to play football together, which could happen on any surface, whether it's on a grassland by the river or on a concrete courtyard. They used branches to mark out gates and drew core lines with limestones. These crude conditions stopped no one. Now, such as Spartan times are yesterday's history, and the villagers no longer have to worry about whether they could afford food on their plate or clothes on their back. They have more confidence in their lives and better things to pursue. At present, Rongjiang County boasts 14 standard football fields, all of them open for free. Every village has its own football team or even teams, with over 1,000 players registered in the county. Let's play football together. A line villagers have repeatedly said for over eight decades have taken on an evolving implication with time. The vigor of rural life, as well as people's hopes for the future, have been brought out to the fullest on this Sun Chao game. By the way, last year we talked about China's village basketball tournament in an episode, which also happened in Guizhou. This year, this basketball event has received its official appreciation from China's relevant authorities and is planning on holding more games throughout the country. It is said Rongjiang is also going to invite amateur football teams from other villages to compete and share their experience. These moves are not intended for more gold medals or trophies, but as a sincere wish for more ordinary people to participate in sporting events, enjoy sports, and live a healthy life. We sure will expect more wonderful sport games like Sun Chao, as well as a more harmonious and beautiful countryside. Thank you for watching. I'm Xu Yi in Beijing.